Hey friends, Dylan Bates here, the Final Cut Bro, with another Final Cut Friday tutorial for you. Today we will be taking a look at five steps to make your videos look more filmic. Now, quick disclaimer, this is not going to perfectly mimic film. There's a lot of stuff going on in film that I just don't understand. I wish I did, but I don't. But these are a few things I do to make your videos look maybe a little bit more gritty, um, make it so you can almost feel the texture in the video. That is my end goal for this. Also, at the end of this video, I wanna show you a really, really cool light bar I've been using for my computer that I really recommend for my friends at BenQ. The number one step for your filmic look is going to be your frame rate. And that is because film cameras would capture at 24 frames per second. So we're gonna push command and we're gonna make a new project. I'm just gonna call it filmic. And we're gonna make sure that our frame rate is at 2398. Now we will push okay and we should be good to go. After that, let's go ahead and drop in this first shot. We're gonna bring in an adjustment layer, which I have a download in the description if you wanna download the adjustment layer. Any effects we apply to this will apply to the clips below. The first thing I wanna do is take down some of these sharp edges because digital cameras capture things very cleanly. So we'll just add in a Gaussian blur and it's perfect. No, uh, we're just gonna add in like one to two pixels depending on the shot of blur. It's very subtle, but I think it helps take down some of the digital edge of the video. And by the way, this is all stock footage you can download from pexels.com. I'll try and have a link to this in the description so you can, you know, tag along. Let's go ahead and add in what I like to call my pro mist filter effect. And I have a tutorial for that as well. So you can check that out, link in the description to create this pro mist filter. And there's also a free download. So what this filter does is it essentially takes all the highlights and then blurs it so that it's over wrapping a lot of the darker areas. So if you watch his shirt right there, you can see when I enable it and disable it, it kind of blurs out over the edge of his shirt. After that, we are going to add in film grain. So we will go on, we'll push command control one to get back our titles and generators. And I've created a film grain generator. Now I have a tutorial for that as well, or you can just use whatever film grain that you might possibly have. So we'll take this, we'll drop it in under our adjustment layer, and then we will jump up into our blend modes and we will set this to overlay. It's gonna be hard to tell if YouTube is actually gonna have this show through, but just know there is grain. One thing I like to do is back off the opacity to something like 80% so it's not too intense. Also note that if the grain isn't quite working like you want it to for your particular scene, you could also go in and try a different blend mode like hard light. You can see the grain actually happening in the dark areas and I could just back this down to like 50% and we're getting a really great look. Now let's go ahead, drop in our cinematic black bars. The only way to have a cinematic movie is if it has black bars. No, I'm kidding. It's just one other little factor I do to somewhat mimic the filmic look. After that, we could dial in our color grade, which is extremely important. Now this shot has already been kind of color graded, but I like to take it to the warmer side there, really make that sunset pop. And we should be good to go. So that is our first shot. Now you'll wonder why did I drop everything into an adjustment layer? Well, if I push command control one, we can drop in some other shots here. We've got this family on the beach, which in my opinion looks very, very digital. You'll see it's a kind of a low quality shot. There's a lot of anti-aliasing that's happening in the water here. The flare is just really not clean. So we'll just go ahead and extend our adjustment layer over the top of this scene and already it's starting to look considerably better. So here's before, here's after. You can see how it softened a lot of these really hard edges. And then if we just drop in our film grain over the top of that, now we could quickly just select that shot, Command 6, and just kind of match the colors of the original shot before it. Kind of give it that like pink, purple, sunset look. So now those two shots match relatively closely. Um, I'm not a pro colorist, so I apologize. I'm a YouTuber. 
YouTuber now, so I have to have trendy looking lighting. So this is what you get. <laughs> so I just wanted to take a really quick break in this tutorial and talk to you about the screen bar plus monitor light. I do have to say BenQ reached out to me. They gave me the product for free, but I was extremely upfront with them and said that if I didn't like the product, I would not make a review. So this is very honest and genuine from me. When they reached out to me, I was actually very skeptical. I was thinking, why would I want to put a light on my monitor? I feel like I'm going to get a lot of glare. It's going to make it hard to color grade, but I was actually extremely impressed. So I have very sensitive eyes. Uh, I have to have a lot of lights on around me at all times while editing, or I just get really bad headaches and eye strain and stuff. So this light is perfect. I can set the color temperature to whatever I want. It's actually got like a, an automatic button. So it'll sense the, the color temperature of the room, the ambient light, and it does a really good job. And then you can set the brightness uh, to whatever you want. And the quality of light is really nice as well. So I never would have checked out the product originally because it seems so counterintuitive. It seems like you would be introducing problems to your monitor, but I have had zero glare issues with this light and Honestly, now I had it not been given to me for free. I would actually purchase this light so I can't Recommend it highly enough if you use a lot of desktop computers and stuff like that So I do have an Amazon affiliate link down in the description below You can check it out for yourself if you do use that link I do get a small kickback and I really appreciate it. Thank you BenQ for sending this product I really do appreciate it and hope to work with you more in the future Thank you guys for sitting through this quick sponsor moment and thank you for watching this video and I can't wait to see you on Monday for a Motion Monday tutorial. Peace!